everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm having lunch and yesterday I went to the store and bought some rotisserie chicken but it was already pulled off the bone and so I just have some of this and some avocado. This is kind of an old one I had in the fridge that I need to eat and a little Roma tomato here. I was gonna have some cottage cheese but I was like eh, I'm never be able to eat it so this is what I'm having for lunch today, and I'm sure Lola will be here any minute to indulge. I had some of this chicken last night, and she was going crazy. It's pretty good. Hey everybody, happy Friday! So yeah, yesterday I vlogged for my lunch and that was about it. That's all I that's all I could get through. Seriously, I didn't do anything. Well, you know, I did laundry and did the dishes. Nothing major. But today's Friday, and you know what that means? It's Dollar Tree time. So we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree because I do need stuff. Like I wanna get some shower caps because I wanna put them over my shoes when I go visit my friend. And, cause you know, I'll be packing my bags, flying away. So I wanna get some of those. And I need some foil. I like the Reynolds Wrap, the, sheets that you can just that are already made you know the single sheets and then <clears throat> what else did I need popcorners yeah I need <clears throat> as many of those as I can get my hands on it is a hot one of course dollar treatments cinnamon Um, I've got my new shirt from JCPenney and I just love it. I'm so glad I got this color. I just love this color. Some of you guys have told me I need to add color into my wardrobe. <laughs> There's this guy sitting at the light staring at me. That's just real nice. See, that's why I don't like to look over at red lights because there's always some idiot gawking at you. So anyway, um, yeah, because a lot of my clothes are just blue, white, oatmeal, but I got some nice green going on here, so I'm, it makes me feel good. And I'm wearing a couple necklaces that I made. This is the first time I've worn this. It matches perfectly with my shirt. I know I need to make a new tutorial on how I make my necklaces, but I actually have one. If you go to my playlists under tutorial, you'll see my necklace tutorial. <laughs> it's about a year and a half or so old, but it, it shows you how I make them. Um, my gosh. So on the 24th of July, I sat out on my porch and watched the fireworks because, you know, here in Utah, it's Pioneer Day and everybody lights off fireworks on that day. And so I was sitting on my front porch at night and I could feel little bugs every now and then like crawling on my feet, but you know, you just wipe them away, it's no big deal. Well, today, two days later, oh my gosh, I have so many bites on my feet, and I have one on kind of right above my ankle. Hey, God, I have a hive right here. Um, something, I think they were little spiders. I have a great big bite on the back of my heel that kept me up all night long. We're talking all night long. It was burning and itching at the same time and it was driving me crazy. And I got up and took a washcloth and 
wiped it, and then I had some cortisone 10 cream that I put on. Oh. And then I had one on my, that was on my left foot. Then I had one on my right foot, right on my bunion. Right smack on my bunion. Well, that foot doesn't have a bunion, but it's on that bone. Right smack in the middle of that bone. And it started itching so bad I couldn't stand it. And then above that, on my right ankle, just above the ankle, there's another bite that it started itching. Seriously, something got me that night. Even Daryl was like, ew, there's little bugs out here. They're crawling on me. So I'm thinking they are spiders because these are nasty. But they're not bad or anything. They're like a really bad mosquito bite. They're not. But we don't have mosquitoes where I'm at. So they're not like poisonous spiders or anything. But, so that's what I, another thing I want to get. At Dollar Tree, I want to get one of those bug bite anti-itch sticks. I saw them one time. I don't know if they still have them, but I'm going to look. And then we need to go to Walmart because I need to get some Metamucil crackers for Daryl. And what not. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think they have my popcorners. Oh. They have cheddar, but I wanted I wanted kettle corn. I'm out of there and it's a hot one but I wanted to do a car haul really quickly um the first thing I got my Reynolds wrappers I got two boxes of these and then I got two of these right here renews it I love the apple cinnamon one there it's my very 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 favorite one and it is Bath and Body Works fall scent time. And I went and got some stuff the other day. I'll have to show you. But these go in my bathroom. And I'm going to start plugging in my fall stuff in August. I'm going to enjoy the fall stuff starting in August. And so I'm going to put this in my bathroom. I just saved this, this type of smell for the fall season. So I could get this all year long and put it in my bathroom, but I want to wait and make it special. I want my toilet room to smell special for the holidays. And then I got a bag of forks. I'm running low on just forks. I got two packs of these batteries, and I will say that these are not the best batteries. I have these little lights in my kitchen, the little string lights, and I got them from Kohl's and each one requires three AA batteries. And after these burn out, if you don't replace the batteries or take them out of the unit soon, it gets this watery stuff. I don't think it's battery acid because it it doesn't it's not crusty or anything, but it leaves this clear liquid stuff inside the unit and it gets on your fingers when you pull the batteries out it's it's gross 
but I'm too cheap to buy good batteries, so I still buy these. But I'm just telling you, beware of the liquid that comes out of these. I don't know what it is. And the, let's see, the last, oh, I got my shower caps for my shoes. You get eight in here. And they're super, super thin and flimsy, but they'll be just fine in my suitcase to keep the dirt off of my clothes when I put my shoes in them. And then the last thing in this bag is my sink strainer. I love these. I rarely use this little thing. I don't need them for my bathroom. I just keep them in my kitchen and I have used the little one for like squeezing lemon juice in the little glass and it catches the seeds or whatever. But I love these for my kitchen sink. I love them. And they don't rust. I've never found that they rust, but after a while the food and gunk just kind of gets stuck in them, even when you put them in the dishwasher or scrub them with a little brush. So that's when I know it's time for a new one. And here is my bag of snacks. I got two bags of my favorite apple slices. This All they had was apples and strawberries, so I already have some strawberry at home. Apples. I like them. They didn't have my popcorners in kettle corn. They had them in the, the white cheddar, which are really good. They are really good. But I always want kettle corn ones. And then I decided to try the way better sweet potato chips. I've had the ranch avocado and they were good. I've had the sweet chili and they were good. But I've not had the sweet potato. And so, yeah, I wanted to try them. And the last thing is this bag of sweet potato chips. And this feels like there's quite a bit. These hardly have any in them, but these feel pretty full. Sea salt crinkle cut sweet potato chips. So that's what I got and I'm starving and I don't know which one to try first. I'll try these first, I guess. Why not? It's 94 degrees and I'm sitting out here in the car. My air conditioner's on though. Smell like a sweet potato chip. These are actually orange like a sweet potato. They don't look like the package. All right. Kind of bland. Whole grain tortilla chips sprouted with quinoa and chia. And obviously sweet potato. These taste more like a corn chip than a sweet potato. But you have a tiny bit of the sweetness. Mm. So there you have it. They're not that great. I wouldn't get those again. I mean, they're doable, but they need more salt. They need more sodium and chemicals. I knew I should have gotten a, a drink. Oh well. So now, we're going to the Walmart. So, Dollar Tree did not have the little anti-itch medicinal stick. They didn't have them. They had plenty of hemorrhoid cream for that kind of itch. But I have plenty of that at home. We all know about that. And I looked on my heel. I think I have two bites on my heel. Oh. It was driving me crazy inside the Dollar Tree. I thought I was going to flip out.
think tonight Daryl and I might go to Sam's Club. But I don't know. We always talk about these things and then we never go. These kind of get better as you, as you eat them. I'm really excited to try the other ones, the kettle cooked ones. I know those will be nice and salty and greasy. I'm doing better at my jogging. I do need new shoes though. The, the tennis shoes I have, they're not, they're a couple years old and they're all smashed and I just, I think I need more support. I told her, oh, I, need, I need new running shoes. And he's like, aren't those running shoes? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I need new ones. So we'll see. McDonald's is right there. I would love me a Coke. Okay. I guess I'll see you at the Walmart. I don't know. I'm home. I didn't film in the Walmart because I wasn't there very long. I looked all over for one of those itch sticks. I looked in the, in the medicine department and I looked in the camping department and I couldn't find any. So I'm just going to have to bear with the itch and just put my cortisone cream on it. I don't want to take a Benadryl because those put me to sleep. But right now I'm doing okay. But yes, I have two bites on my left heel, a bite above my left ankle and a bite on my middle left toe. So whatever was biting me had a heyday. And then I have one bite on my right foot. So that's the story about that. So let me share with you what I got at the Walmart. I needed another oil-free acne wash. I use this every single day. I just keep it in my shower. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is like, I can't even tell you, my hundredth bottle. I love it. I got another L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I love these. And I'm almost done with the first one. Let's see. What? $10? I thought last time, I maybe it was on sale or something, but I could have sworn this was like $7. And I was so excited because it was cheaper than a, than a, a NYX one from Ulta. Because NYX, I believe, are 10 bucks. Oh well. Crap, I got the wrong one! <laughs> oh, I don't want this one. This one has the angled tip. I wanted the little one. That's why it costs more. I don't like the angled tip. I like the oh, flip. Well, maybe I should just try it. I don't know. I might just take this back because I like the skinny tip, not the big fat angle tip. Anyway, I got me four of the um, fresh orchard apples. These smell so good. I have them going right now in my Scentsy. This is fall. This is back to school smell. This is just wonderful. So I got four of those, they're $2 each. I didn't have time to look around at more of the waxes and candles because the cable man was right there and he was hunting down a couple of ladies and they're like, we have Xfinity, sorry. And they're like, 
walking away and so I just turned around and bolted because I knew he would come after me. I knew it. So I didn't have time. But that's okay. I don't need anything else like that. I got a couple more of these Metamucil wafer, fiber wafer crackers. Daryl has a pack every day for regularity. And the last thing I got were these Nature Valley granola cups, almond butter. Um, I saw somebody eating these and I totally wanna try them. Angie, her name's Angie and her channel is Angie's Life and I will link it below. So I wanted to try these. She was munching on hers last night and I was like, they looked really good. So this is the almond butter. And yeah, that's it. That's it, you guys. That's all I got at the Walmart, so. Ugh, I dread going back. I knew this looked a little different. This looked a little fatter. I just need something for the, you know, I don't know. I just like the little tips. The little skinny tips, not the big fatties. Okay, I'm gonna show you my bug bites on my feet. So if you don't like feet, look away, look away. So here I have one, right? <laughs> and then I have another one. <laughs> no, I'll show you the normal way. First of all, here's the one on my toe, right on my ankle, or my, um, right on my knuckle. And so that one doesn't itch too bad. It did the other day, but not too bad. And then here is the one on just on the back of my leg here above the ankle. This kind of itches now that I'm playing with it. And then I can't show you. Here are the two on my, there's one there and one here. I didn't even know this one was here, but this one was the one driving me crazy all night long. <laughs> That's the only way I could show you those ones. And then here is the one on my right foot, right there on my knob, right smack in the middle of it. Oh, my raisin, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's some famous anus. I wonder how big those were. They're probably like those tiny, huh? Yeah. Little vending machine. And we went to Panda, and Daryl and I are going to share this chow mein, lo mein, and then Daryl got this beef, I forget what it is, and then it looks like he got pepper chicken, and then I got, oh, I forget what it's called, the sweet fire jiggin. I'm starving. Mm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum.
That's hot. That's why it's called Sweet Fire. We didn't get very many noodles tonight. We got more cabbage and celery in it. So Daryl's outside talking with our friends, neighbors. He's probably starving. I like this beef, but I don't like this chicken. But I like this chicken. Mm. It's too late for me to go running. I could do it. On my treadmill. Holy cow, this is hot. It's usually not this hot. It burns going down the pipes. It's the kind of burn that makes you want to cough. I know, poor Daryl's driving. Your independence shall lead you to rewarding adventures. Well, that'll never happen because I am totally codependent not independent whatsoever. My girls, my girls. Go on, get it. <laughs> How are my kids? You still processing that? I love you guys. Oh, Lola Bella. And Momo. Oh, my little girls. Mm. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you so very much. You're my little babies. Oh, get out of here. So welcome to the closet, everybody. Um... I'm just smelling my fingers. So here is my Bath and Body Works that I got the other day. I just wanna show you really quickly before we close up closet time because this is a long video and I'm gonna to have to edit it way down. But anyway, this was my freebie. I had a little coupon for a free gift, a free pro body product up to $13 and this was $12.50, so ridiculous. But this just smells nice and fresh and summery. Um, it's pink citrus, crisp pear, and fresh honeysuckle. Sheer vetiver, vetiver, I don't know, and dewy orchid. It smells really nice. Um, it's, I know it'll smell even better in the shower. They had perfume and lotion that to go with it, but they were too strong and sweet. You know, the shower gel is always a little different. 
and so I wanted this not too long ago but I wasn't going to pay $12.50 for it because it wasn't on sale so I decided to get this as my freebie it smells nice it smells real nice and then they had their soaps on five for 23 or five or something I don't know I always say I'm never gonna buy more soap from Bath and Body Works because I always find when from the Dollar Tree or Walmart that I just love and they're only a dollar and they're just as great and I'm never gonna buy soaps again. Well, that's a lie. I bought five. <sighs> and they had a couple different scents that I didn't like. <sighs> I don't remember what they were. One was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, but I already have some of that. And then, yeah, I can't remember the other one for some reason. But anyway, Afternoon Apple. This smells really good. This is apple, pear, and cinnamon. It smells good. I only got one of these. But it smells really good. Ooh. Okay. Just making sure it's not leaking. And then I got two of these. The crisp morning air. They've always had this for a long time. This smells really good. This smells very similar to the apple actually, but this has pine in it and this has apple and cinnamon. I don't know. This has pine, juniper, and pear, but they smell very similar, but a tad different. Anyway, I just love them. And then I got two of the jumping in leaves and this smells really nice um, cranberry oak and cypress leaves yeah this smells you can definitely smell the pine in it this smells mountainy kind of sort of but I like it so I got two I haven't washed my hands with them yet so I don't know how they smell under the water but I'm excited and then I got five of these autumn wallflowers I used this smell last fall for October November and I fell in love it was so strong the scent was so strong the throw was strong it just smelled amazing and these were on sale five for 25 and then I think the next day they were five for 23. I don't know. So anyway, I got five of those and I actually opened this one. Hmm. Smells good. As far as I know, it smells the same as the ones last year. I'll have to plug it in and see because you know, it seems like every year they tweak the smell just a little with things and that bugs. I'm hoping this, I think it smells about the same. For some reason, it seems like it might be different, but I don't know, maybe not. Could just be me. But I'm excited to plug these in. I really hope they're just as good as they were last year. And then the last thing I got was another wallflower unit because it seems like every time you buy one, they stop working after like two or three weeks. I've had several that have bombed on me and then some that are still going. But anyway, so that's all I got. And yeah, I'm going to go because this video is long. Um, tomorrow, who knows? I don't. But we shall see, show. I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a fun Friday. And I hope you have a wonderful sleepy. I'll just love you. And we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. I want my toilet room to smell special for the holidays.